Welcome to Mark and Metcalf. This is part two of the ham radio tilting tower, the base. My tower was based on a DMX freestanding tower. The manufacturer recommends a five foot five inch cube of concrete with reinforcing rod spaced at one foot intervals. With the help of my Kubota, I started digging for the base. Also took me a little while to figure out where to put the base and the antenna on my property. I had to take into account uh, the local uh, uh, requirements and regulations and made sure that I respected the required property line offsets. Once the hole was completed, I prepared the one foot reinforcement rod lattice structure. Here I'm just lowering it down into the hole. Once that was located, the next thing would be to build the form around it. You can see I've built the little walls and now I'm locating the top template. The top template is actually you see the plywood plate, it's used to locate the J-bolts. You can see four of the J-bolts on the ground there and I'm just going around and uh, bolting them to the upper side of the template using two nuts. Those J-bolts are, there's four 36 inch by one inch and there's four 24 inch by one inch J-bolts going down into the, uh, into the, uh, the lattice structure. You can see it here, you can see the J-bolts, the reinforcing rod lattice structure in the hold. You can see how they're um, bolted temporarily to the template. I'm going to keep that template after I've finished also because I'm going to use it to mark my holes on the antenna base. And that'll ensure everything lines up properly. We ended up pouring a total of seven cubic yards. I'm using a uh, concrete uh, vibrator aerator that I rented from Home Depot. That makes a huge difference. Uh, it, when you're using it, you can just see the concrete flow. It ensures that you don't have any voids or cavities or air bubbles trapped in there. Once that was done, I just let the uh, top surface skim over and then I applied a, a brush finish. And then to finish it off, I used a, um, an edge trowel just to put a nice edge like you would see on a sidewalk or a curb. Then of course, uh, had to make sure everything was level. Yeah. And then the family got involved and we all put our hand prints in there. So there you go, the finished product. You see a total of eight J-bolts sticking out and that's what it's going to look like in the end that's how the tower base gets mounted so thanks again for watching and stay tuned part three will be about the cable entrance and grounding thanks again bye now